Hi, let's talk about what you're going to do with this worksheet. So, uh, of course, make sure your name and period's on there, and then this single-sided worksheet, you're going to go through these different steps, pay attention to these steps, you're going to do them in order. Starting with number one, count the words transcription and translation in yellow, orange, or red, doesn't matter which one. Here's how we did it in this particular example, but again, any of those colors is fine. Uh, direction number two, color the nucleus, dotted line in blue, you'll see that was done here. Direction number three says glue DNA here. That refers to these DNA strips you'll get. There's several different ones. This particular example is DNA strip number one, and you can glue or tape it right here on top of those words. And then once you've done that, you've got to follow direction number four and transcribe the DNA letters into RNA, mRNA, such as T pairs with a, A pairs with U, and C pairs with G, and so on until you're done. More or less like that. So uh, once you've followed direction number four, transcribe the, M the uh, DNA into mRNA, you then need to find uh, direction number five, which is down here. You're seeing the part that's after it's done. Before it was done, it looked like this. And you need to copy the mRNA here. In other words, whatever is here, you write these exact same things here. That was direction five. So when you're on your blank paper first, it's going to look like you're just rewriting whatever's up there down here. Next, once you have written these in, you need to find the letters on the chart that looks like this that pair with them. For example, AUG pairs with UAC, as you can see here. So I had to go find UAC, cut it out, and then when I cut this out, I put it here. And then CCA pairs with GGU, so I had to go find GGU, which is here, cut this out, and put it here. And so on and so on, finding what letters pair with these, that pairs with this, find these letters, cut it out, make sure it's all lined up, and I wind up with this whole thing at the end of it. What I did was I cut each one, rolled a little bit of tape, stuck it on the back, and then taped it down so that they're all nice and attached. Okay, once you've done that, that's direction six. Cut out the R tRNAs and put them here in the order specified by your mRNA sequence. Once you've done that, you can follow direction seven, which is rewrite the amino acid sequence here. So see that MET? I write that here. That's methionine, proline, valine, and so on and so on, all the rest of them, until you have copied down the whole thing. But wait, this says stop. Why doesn't it say stop here? Because stop is a stop signal. That's not an amino acid. That's just a signal that says stop adding amino acids. That's why this is the last amino acid. Okay, make sure it's the same for yours too. There should not be anything here that says the word stop. Anyway, once you've done that, the next thing is to find direction eight, which is down here. Why did I get this answer enzyme? It's because I went to the reference chart down here and I compared this to what I have here. See that methionine, proline, valine? Methionine, proline, valine. It's this one. It says enzyme. That's why I wrote the word enzyme down here. And then step nine. What is the function? I go back here to that same chart where I looked it up. And then right here is enzyme, and there's the function. Speeds up, catalyzes biochemical reactions. So I put that there, and then biochemical reactions. But uh, direction nine is followed by direction 10. Quickly highlight the three words below. So one, two, three words. Highlight these three words. And then fill in the blank for the central dogma of RNA, or rather for the central dogma of genetics. DNA makes RNA, which leads to protein. All right, that's how you go about doing this. Uh, one last final thing to mention. This example used DNA sequence number one. Again, there's different DNA sequences, which will lead to different letters here, which will lead to different letters here, which will lead to different amino acid sequence, which will lead to different results here, here, and here. All right, so just make sure that you are paying close attention to what you have so that you can put the correct amino acids in the correct order to identify the correct protein. All right, that's it.